Abuse against women and children in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in what many termed a silent war, is the subject of a stunning photo exhibit shown recently here in Washington. These silent, life-size images capture the horrors of the violence in the DRC. Jane Sachs, one of the exhibit's curators, says the stock portrayals are intentional. We want people to come in and be overwhelmed visually, um, in a very emotional and intellectual way. The pictures were made with the subject's consent. They give the violence a face. This woman, too ashamed to show hers after repeated rapes, this one boldly bearing it. And she is saying, you know, you're going to look me in the eye. Co-curator Leslie Thomas says rape is not unique to the Congo. And I can promise you that all of us know someone who's been raped, even if we don't know this. So this needs to be something that's very public, and the person that needs to be shamed in this situation is the perpetrator, not the victim. Sachs says the images highlight an important global issue. Gender-based violence in the world is an epidemic, and it's a brutal epidemic. And so what's happening in the DRC, we can see historically has happened all over. Several members of the U.S. Congress attended the event, as well as a Congolese doctor and an activist who have witnessed the violence. All call for international intervention. Congresswoman Jen Schakowsky of Illinois says it's hard to ignore such harsh realities. As the co-chair of the Bipartisan Women's Caucus in the House of Representatives, I really do see, feel an obligation to these women. Some say part of the solution to ending the conflict in the DRC is literally in the people's hands, the Congolese minerals used in many cell phones and laptops. John Prendergast is co-founder of the activist group Enough Project. So we can use our consumer power to say to these companies like Apple and Hewlett Packard and other companies, make sure that your purchases do not include conflict minerals. The stories that most of these pictures tell about life in the Congo for women and children, while painful to look at at times, is really a story of resilience and strength. Thomas uses this picture to stress her point. You look at this and you realize someone has taken Maria's arm off. And she's caring for her children. I mean, this is a heroic and admirable and shows you that you can move forward with your life. Ambassador Faida Mitufu of the DRC says for her, the conflict is personal. As citizens of the world, we can put our efforts together to put an end to the plight of these women. And one of the best ways to deal with that is to end the war in the DRC. Some of the rape victims are girls under 10. 16-year-old Alison Footman, here with her mother, says the pictures were an eye-opener. When I go back to school, I would want to see if there are other kids out there who maybe wanted to help. The exhibit will make several stops around the country before settling at the United Nations in September and eventually in Africa. Dimiake Mwakalielie, VOA News.